Now let me show you how to calculate a stair layout where you've got a not to exceed riser height situation. Maybe code based or client based, but you can't exceed a certain riser height. Now keep in mind the keystrokes for this example will be exactly the same if you're using our trig model or our desktop model too. Uh, first recall the uh, default riser height is seven and a half inches. We'll leave that in there for this example, but we don't want to exceed that. Uh, let's say that the floor to floor rise is 10 foot one, 10 feet one inch of rise, and we've got a, a horizontal run of uh, 15 feet five inches is sort of our constraint horizontally. Now we're going to solve this, and it solves seven and nine sixteenths. That's using the standard stair function, but in this case we said we don't want to exceed the target seven and a half. So what you do is you hit convert stair, and above the stair key you can see it says riser limited. So convert stair. Now it recalculated it, and now the riser height is going to be seven and an eighth inches only. So now I can proceed through the routine here. There's going to be 17 uh, risers. There's going to be an adjustment of one eighth of an inch somewhere in that string of 17. Uh, the tread width is going to be 11, and nine, 11 inch and 9 sixteenths, uh, 16 treads, no adjustment to that. The stairwell opening is 12, 2 and a sixteenth, and the stringer length is 18, 1 and 5 sixteenths, uh, angle of incline, and then it gives you the total run. So that's a quick overview on the stair layout function using the riser limited uh, feature. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com slash support.